Oh, we are far from even, Julian. Yeah, sure, your uh, news is intriguing, but it's not nearly enough to wipe away your debt. And how is that? I just gave you inside information on part of Sonny's plan against you. Now that has value. No, all you've given me is some wild allegation that Marcus Taggart is alive. Do you have any proof? Photos? No, I, I, I saw them the night that, that Nell was planning on taking Wiley away, so sorry I didn't stop long enough to pose for a selfie. Oh, so all I have is your word. And, and in my experience, desperate people are willing to say just about anything. Not to mention, I still need someone to take care of my Jason Morgan problem. You know what, Cyrus? I'm not gonna do it. Because there's no guarantee that Jason Morgan is gonna be the only one in that building. So I'm not gonna hurt or potentially kill innocent people. So you know what? I'm gonna call your bluff. Please, go tell Sonny about the letter, because I'll be long gone before you do. You know, you might be willing to live the rest of your life on the run, but what about the people closest to you that you'd be leaving behind? Your sister, Ava, her daughter, Avery, your sons, Leo and Lucas, not to mention Sam and her kids. You see, I do have photos in case you need a visual reminder. So I have some pictures of my daughter and my grandson. It's pretty cute, right? Your son Lucas at work. Oh, your son Leo at the fancy Quartermain mansion. And here is Ava and her husband out in a boot. What's your point, Cyrus? Take some photos with your fancy new phone? Oh, I didn't take any of these. You see, as soon as you came to me desperate for my help, I had my associates begin to monitor those you hold near and dear. So over the years, I've learned that Desperate people are not the most reliable. Sometimes they panic and run. So I found it's always best to, you know, have some insurance policies, make sure the people I go into business with stick around, keep their end of the deal. If you catch my drift. I can't even believe this is happening again. Excuse me? Ever since things went wrong with Alexis, I've been doing nothing but trying to straighten out my life, you know, get things back on track. But I just, I just keep getting involved with, with people who want to control me, you know? People who, who, if I say no to, their first reaction is to want to threaten my family. So you tell me, Cyrus, what is it about me that makes people like you think I'm willing to do horrible things, huh? Oh, Julian, my friend, do you really have this little self-awareness? Oh. Yeah, I do my research for everyone I do business with. I know how you helped your sister Olivia and your late wife Nell. You keep making deals with the devil and then you don't understand why your hand keeps getting burned. You're not a victim, you wanted to cover up a crime. No, I wanted my son Lucas to keep the son he loved. Your son had no right to that child. You aided and abetted a kidnapping. That's bad enough, but the child in question was a Corinthos. Julian, your choices put your life on the line and you came to me. Actions have consequences. I don't know how you got to this point in your life and never learned that lesson. If you don't like the circumstances you're in at the moment, you have no one to blame but yourself.